Back in March, Joni B and I made the seven and a half hour road trip to Greenville, South Carolina. Absolutely freezing my gizzards off. Yet I'm drinking an icy. It was a dollar. What can I say? We were on the hunt for the most eclectic and delicious places to eat in the area. And I'd say we accomplished our mission. But first, we had to check into our B&B. We chose the Swamp Rabbit Inn because of its perfect downtown location in Greenville's West End. Our room was beautiful and had so much space for all of our equipment and everything else we needed. It was pretty cold in Greenville, so we didn't make use of the rocking chairs on the front porch. Since it was cold, we also didn't rent any bikes from the bike shed, but the owner, Wendy, really did think of everything. Since the inn is named after one of Greenville's many nature trails, she thought it was only appropriate to have bikes for guests to rent. After a beautiful night's sleep, we made our way to the first spot, Biscuit Head. Best biscuit in Greenville. I used to come to the Asheville location a lot, actually. In fact, I was just telling them I'd have my family come in and I'd bring them to Asheville just to take them to Biscuit Head. This is my first time, the food's great. We give people a place to come and eat quickly. Uh, the food comes out very fast, even though it is made um, with such like diligence and, and you get a lot of value for your money. Uh, also, I think that we're consistent and um, it's fun. You know, when people come in, they don't just come in and eat and leave. They, they want to hang out. They want to sit outside with their dogs. And um, I think our staff is uh, like radiant and fun and, you know, we're different. And on the backs of our table numbers, we have funny pictures of cats. Some of them are just random funny cats we found online, uh, but other of them are uh, some of our employees, some of our guests that have been around for a long time that are like, we well, put my cat on the back of one of the numbers. <laughs> yeah. And we have some delicious things happening here. They gave us the two most popular things on the menu, the mimosa biscuit. It's their house-made biscuit with chicken soaked in orange juice and champagne, a mimosa, topped with sweet potato butter, sriracha slaw, and a poached egg. And then this is the pulled pork biscuit. Again, it's their homemade biscuit. It has pulled pork, jalapeno pimento cheese, bacon, poached egg, and their house-made maple syrup. Then Joni B has some sweet tea over there, and I have, you know, I gotta have my sweet the tea. The most insane looking latte. S'mores latte. And I haven't tried it yet, so we're just gonna dig in here. It's huge, first of all, and it smells amazing. Oh my gosh. Is it hot? It is, but it's delicious. It's mo like a mocha, kind of chocolatey taste. It has some marshmallows. Does it have graham crackers on top? Crushed graham crackers and chocolate syrup on top. So, Yummy. cheers to this. I'm gonna take another sip. These, 
our, our biscuit dough nuts. And so they fry the biscuit dough, they roll them in powdered sugar, brown sugar, and cinnamon. And these delicious donuts are served with a lemon curd. And you know, I love cinnamon. Ooh, they're hot. You didn't get one? I'm gonna let you go first. That's really good. Mm. I'm gonna go for some of the lemon stuff. You know what? A lot of times they don't put enough stuff on it. It's perfect. It's completely covered. I'm interested to see how the lemon is gonna work with the cinnamon. Seems like an odd. I mean, Valerie Bertinelli would love it. She loves lemons, though. Hashtag Valerie Bertinelli. Oh no, I was wrong, that's delicious. Okay. What are we buying? Buying a cookbook, t-shirts, and hats. I think that one's for me. Next up, dinner at Smoke on the Water. It's a beautiful ambiance. There were families all around us and it all felt so natural and real. There was nothing contrived or pretentious about the atmosphere or the food. Talk about delicious. The owner, Mike, was also the manager and head chef, and he spoiled us for sure. Seeing his passion for his restaurant was incredible. Just see for yourself. The restaurant said so we wanted you to feel the taste of the South. We have a lot of people from up north that come in, including my in-laws who are from Connecticut. I uh, want them to have a taste of the South and people always think of warm and comfortable and inviting and friendly. And, and the same thing in the food, we wanted comfort food uh, that was not trying to threaten or intimidate or, or be pretentious. Uh, it's just trying to be very comfortable. Yeah. Um, we actually uh, use, it's called Southern Pride, and makes smokers, and most restaurants around use, or smokehouses use a, a smoker similar. Uh, you can actually, it's, it's gas, wood, and electric. And the electric turns the rotisseries so that we don't have to go out every two hours and flip pieces of meat. And the gas um, has a pilot light, has a little electronic sensor in the front, you tell it how long you want it to cook and at what temperature. And it senses when it drops below 180, It'll shoot a pilot light out and actually stoke the fire for you. Here comes day two, and one of my favorite parts of the entire trip. It's a cat cafe, y'all. When we talk about our cat cafe and the original um, message about it, Everyone's like, why do you have so many resident cats? You know, they don't understand the concept because we don't do it exactly how the American people do it. So of course we have adoptable cats that just came, comes naturally with the business. Um, but we want to provide a space where people can relax and hang out and meet friendly and nice cats. So it's challenging to find the right ones who are actually fine with living here together, handling all these different people coming in and out. So we are mixed between the original message of providing the space and of course we find, find homes for homeless cats and work with right now five um, non-profit rescue centers.
Alrighty. Our last stop in Greenville was Sassafras Southern Bistro. It's a more upscale restaurant with delicious food that says, hello y'all, instead of, hey y'all. What I mean is, things were a little fancier and upscale than your typical Southern fare. The interior was gorgeous and the food was pretty stinking good too. Joni B and I had a great time in Greenville. The whole town is incredible. There are local shops everywhere and no shortage of things to do. If you like tripping with us, don't forget to subscribe and visit our blog for more mouthwatering content from Greenville. Until next time, peace out, y'all. Like